or like in support will be requested to raise the hand and i and I, the student student will be counting that how many how many hands or the how many students has the objection on that so keep that in mind first of all we'll complete the reading so we'll complete the presenting the resolution resolution demanding the resignation and removal of professor appara kolde from the post of vice chancellor is primarily responsible for the institutional processes which killed Rohit Verma and which led to the suspension and harassment of other four research students from the Dalit community. He is booked under the Scheduled Cash and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Act and also under the Abatement of Suicide Act. The Honorable Court till date, till date did, give, did grant him any interim relief despite his several appeals. The two-member panel set up by the MHRD which probed the institutional matter of Rohit Vimla had categorically stated that the university administration under the Vice-Chancellor Akparov has mishandled the case and suspended the students without following due procedures. After various student organizations pointed out the inconsistencies in the proctorial board report, the then Vice-Chancellor R.P. Sharma revoked the suspension and ordered for a fresh inquiry, but Apparav, as, vice, as VC, formed the Executive Council Subcommittee, which did not conduct the inquiry afresh. Instead, the EC Subcommittee recommended the suspension and social boycott of five Dalit research students based on the same controversial proctorial board report. This is the first time in university history that social boycott was given as a punishment to students with complete disregard for all the democratic, democratic values. The Dalit students were not, not only suspended from hostel for the rest of their course, but were also bad entry into the admin block in groups. They were denied entry to attend seminars of other subjects and bad from participating in the students' union elections. This punishment is a serious violation of all their rights as students. The Judicial Commission set up to probe the events that led to the suicide of Rohit Vimla is still probing the matter. Use, using his position as Vice Chancellor, Apparo can easily tamper with the evidences and influence the witnesses. This may hamper the police investigation as well. Removing him from the post of VC is important to ensure a fair and free inquiry. The secretive manner in which Apparo resumed office is a disgrace to the office of Vice Chancellor. Post his resumption of, office, resumption of office, we witnessed to what extent he, he can go to hold on to his position. He blatantly violated all democratic ethos and like, human rights of the students and the campus fraternity as a whole. He allowed police to use excessive brutal force upon the students and watch, watch girls being molested. Students from minority religion were given special treatment by the police. He, by taking, into by taking into confidence, certain leaders of the non-teaching staff had closed hostel messages, disconnected internet and cut water connection. Because of the blockade, there was no money as well in the ATM. When students tried to cook, he, he sent police to beat them up brutally and a student had to be admitted in ICU for treatment. This clearly shows that he wanted to ensure by all means that the students starved. Upper hour, after resuming office as VC imposed blockade of the campus and turned it into a prison. A prison where outsiders cannot enter except upper hour's well wishes. The advocates of the students were not allowed inside the campus, thereby violating their right to counsel. Family doctors of the students were not allowed inside, thereby denying the students of their right to medical service and treatments. Even the parents of the students were denied entry. Media and people's representatives, people's representatives, the members of parliaments, are said to be the, said to be the two pillars of democracy. Upper or denied their entry into our university. The kind of uh, he, uh, orders he made uh, post his resumption of office as vice chancellor shows that he is a man who is ready to do anything to ensure his self-interest by holding our university to ransom. To protect the academic integrity, to ensure discrimination-free campus and to ensure justice for Rohit and four other students who were suspended, the UGBM demands that Appara Kudle must resign or be sacked from the post of Vice Chancellor of the University of Hyderabad immediately. We demand the Telangana Police to arrest Appara Kudle immediately and speed up the investigation in this case. Thank you, Shiva. Uh, now we are going for the voting. And uh, like I would like to make it clear, the resolution is presented on the 
uh, demanding the resignation of the removal of Professor Abra Kodile from the post of Vice Chancellor of University of Hyderabad. The students, the students who have uh, objected. Okay. 